This is Stephanie at Hightower Stitching. Today's video, Busy Body Block, is a combination of paper foundation piecing using the adding machine tape and tube piecing. It's been a lot of fun using up my scrap fabric and using the adding, roll, adding machine tape to do uh, paper foundation piecing. So now I have yards and yards of fabric that's sewn together. And I've tried a couple projects. We had one that was the binding on a finished project. The other one was making a runner with the strips in the center. And those were all neat. And then in the meantime, I had been seeing a um, video about tube piecing. And I thought, ah, maybe I found another way that I could do use up those pieces. So for the, today's project, I've got a couple of pieces of the uh, finished tape so that's made out of the pieces. And then I have a piece of fabric that will be part of the square. So you'll need those two things and you'll need a, a ruler that gives you 45 degree angle. And in this case, I've taken my OmniGrid and I've actually put a piece of blue tape where that 45 degree line in so it makes it really easy to line up and we're going to take those two strips sew them together and lay them on top of the rust colored one I was using my three inch adding machine tape so those strips were three inches to start wide and I sewed the two, of, two together and then I cut a strip that was five and a half inches wide that's going to be the other part of our tube. You want to lay your two pieces face to face and even them up so it looks pretty good. But then to get ready to sew this together to make your tube flip it over so you're looking at the back side of your accent piece and use this one and do one fourth inch seam down the top, go down to your end, come back and make one fourth inch seam on that side, just on the two long edges. Okay, we've got our strip. And before I cut it, it was like that. I've got my two seams, I've got my ruler. And I'm going to lay it down with a point on the end and the blue line is right on the seam line. And take your cutter, cut it. You have a piece, this is a piece of trash. You can save it for something later. Then, this is the neat part. Just take and slide your straight edge up line, this time line your blue line right with the seam line and do your cutting and now you'll have your first triangle first square and you'll see your first busybody block and then you're going to take there was your point you're going to simply slide your ruler back down, set it on the seam, cut, and here's your next block. And those are your busy body blocks. If you're using the three inch tape, when you get finished, you'll have seven inch squares. That's the small square. And then when you put four of those squares together, you'll make a 13 inch uh, really large square, which is a great size. You've done a lot in a little amount of time. And so now you're at the point where you can really have some more fun <clears throat> by shifting your parts around on your different of your quadrants. So here is one way that you could look at this. And things always look different before you sew them together, too. And there's another way to look at your large square. 
And what's fun to me was that all of a sudden I started seeing um, new shapes that were in there. For example, up here it was actually a square that was two different colors. There was another one. And if you go over across, you see a different pattern. And anytime you make a quilt or you make a square, a block, I'd take a camera and step back and take a picture of it because it's amazing what you can see. It gives you a whole different perspective of uh, looking at that. And then this one would be sewn together. When I started with my strips, I had been making long strips, I mean strips and sewing them together and making long. And so most of my projects have been small and had shorter pieces. So instead, this time when I started making some um, paper foundation piece, pieces with my scraps, which are really pretty scraps, then I was making them about 36 inches, which is a little bit to work with. But when I get done, that was the way I left them. I just press them, take the paper off, and put them on a hanger. And that's really easy to manage with that length of a strip. Here was the first project that I started with, and this is my large 13-inch block with the four smaller blocks put together. And it looks like this is going to be another table runner. My daughter looked at it and she said, Mom, that'd make a great pillow. Just cut that in half. And I said, well, that'd be a pretty big pillow, but it would be colorful. It'd be really pretty. So now you can get busy and make a bunch of busy body blocks and put them together to create something new and original for yourself. This is Stephanie at Hightower Stitching.